Let me also say that when z uh, is less than or equal to 20, so going up to calcium, it's uh, stable if uh, p and n are even numbers. So if the protons and neutrons are even numbers and z is less than or equal to 20, the protons and neutrons are equal, that's true. Let me give you an example. That was a lot of words. Take calcium. Calcium 40. Look on your periodic table. That's 20 protons, 20 neutrons. The protons or neutrons are equal. Z is less than or equal to 20. That means the protons are 20 or less. So it's stable, and the protons and neutrons are even numbers. Does that make sense? So protons and neutrons are even numbers. They're equal and less than or equal to 20. That's stable. It does not work when they're odd numbers. Oh, I should say not always. So that's why I say even numbers here. But odd and even work up here. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Yes? If it's between, if it's above 10, they have to be equal and even for this one to work. Equal and even. Okay. The converse is not always true. <laughs> so, for example, if the protons don't equal the neutrons and you're in this range, that's not necessarily radioactive. Let me give you, uh, there's like, and there's like 10 examples where that's not true. So just an example, you don't have to memorize this, but as an example, uh, how many protons? One, neutrons? Zero. Zero. Yes? This is stable, but it doesn't fit the rule. Does that make sense? So there are uh, at least ten exceptions here. So the converse is not always true. Okay? If they're not equal, usually the converse is true, but not always. All right. Um, okay. I did not put a red star by this one right here because uh, beryllium 8 and fluorine, fluorine 18 are radioactive. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm trying to have you memorize the least amount as possible should remember these two. These two here you want to remember. These are exceptions to this whole general rule. So otherwise the rule is totally awesome. It totally works. These are the only two exceptions right here. Okay? So there's a red star by this rule if you remember this. So I want you to remember the least amount possible. So these, you don't have to remember this necessarily, but I want you to remember this one. Okay, let's go to the next general rule. There's two more. Next one goes like this. If P or N, and you're going to love this, is a magic number, <laughs> then it's stable. So if it's a magic number, you didn't think there was magic in chemistry? There is. Okay. Uh, there's, uh, let me give you the chemistry magic numbers. And they're literally magic numbers. And you'll get this on the test. If it's a magic number, it's stable. These are the magic numbers. You're like, this is crazy. What's the deal with magic numbers? It's actually in a lot of different fields. Uh, let me give you a couple examples. Uh, in sports, I don't know if you've ever, if you're a sports fan, there's magic numbers in sports. So that you can calculate uh, based on the number of wins and losses per season of two different teams, which team's going to win? That makes sense. It's not like a gambling thing. It's more simple than you might think, but they're called magic numbers. Uh, another example in uh, economics, for, for example, sale of crude oil. Based on the price and the amount of crude oil available, you can uh, calculate the magic number at which you're going to make a profit. Uh, another example in chemistry, when you're forming, condensing, 
gas particles, and those gas particles condense to form a liquid, they form only certain number, numbers in that condensed cluster. And it, it tends to be those certain numbers condensing into gas. They're not all the same number. There's different magic numbers when they condense. But that's another example. There's a lot of magic numbers. You can look that up if that sounds interesting to you. But these are the magic numbers for nuclear chemistry. If it's a magic number, it's usually stable. But this is not always true. Okay, So there's no red star. Can't take this one to the bank. You can also have double magic. So for example, if a proton has a magic number and a neutron, that's doubly stable. Not doubly stable, doubly magic. It's more likely stable. Okay? Let me give you an example of a double magic. Take a look at helium. Helium has how many protons? Two. And how many neutrons? Two helium's double magic. It's a really stable element, isn't it? Calcium is also double magic. It has 20 protons and 20 neutrons. That's a stable molecule or a stable atom. So when they're double magic, it turns out that they're usually stable. Not always, but usually. Okay. If they're singly magic, they are, they're also usually stable. All right. Uh, let's go on. Oh, an example where that wouldn't be true is. Helium-6 is doubly magic because, uh, oh no, that's not, there was another example, I forgot what it was, but sometimes there's something that's double magic and not stable. Okay. The last one, the last one. If both protons and neutrons are even numbers, it's stable. Uh, if uh, they're odd, it's radioactive or unstable. If they're one's odd, one's even, it's in the middle. Does that make sense? So uh, I can't really put a star by the top one. If they're both even, it's usually stable, but not always. Okay. But the, the second one, they're both odd. I'm going to put a star by that one. You can almost always take the second one to the bank. If they're both odd, it's almost always unstable. There are, of course, several exceptions. So that except uh, deuterium, uh, lithium, uh, lithium-6, boron-10, and uh, nitrogen-14. What do you notice about all those four exceptions here? Yeah, they all follow the top rule. So you can take this to the bank if you know that this rule trumps the bottom rule. Does that make sense? So you got to know that this rule trumps that one, and you don't have to memorize these four atoms. As long as you know that the where, where my pen is, that trumps this bottom one, then if they're both odd, this is always radioactive. The top one, right here, where they're, um, oh, right here, where they're both even, uh, they're not always stable, but it can be. Mm -hmm.